Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agent. antibody samples from survivors, so keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Napalm be all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank move somewhere safe.
agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTS strike force. We'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, agent. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Do it, agents. Solid work. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. 